While the race for governor in Pennsylvania is a highly watched contest both here in the Commonwealth as well as across the country, Democratic candidate Josh Shapiro made stops today in Philadelphia and Jenkintown. Republican candidate Doug Mastriano reached out to voters today in Newtown and Telford. Our Joe Holden has a look at their fight to engage voters before they head to the polls tomorrow. In Pennsylvania's race for governor, Democrat Josh Shapiro and Republican Doug Mastriano have intensified their focus in southeastern Pennsylvania in the campaign's waning hours. Mastriano was at a Bucks County winery condemning described failing crime fighting efforts in Philadelphia. We saw the shooting at the fo uh, football game in Roxbury. We saw the carjacking you know, of a mom loading a kid up in the car in, in the. Montgomery County, we saw the illegal ATVs boxing in a mom and her SUV with a kid in the car and trying to carjack her on the move. I mean, I, had, I didn't see this kind of crap in Afghanistan. The race for governor pits Mastriano, a state senator from central Pennsylvania who's polling as the underdog against Shapiro, the state attorney general from suburban Philadelphia. Shapiro was also tackling a message of public safety at an event in the city, telling voters challenges can be turned around. We need to make sure our children live in safe communities. People have a right to both be safe and feel safe in their communities. We can do that work together. And we're going to build an economy that treats everyone with respect, that lifts everyone up, and that gets the job done here in Philadelphia and all across our Commonwealth. Both men have received last minute, late stage pushes from party leaders. It was President Biden and former President Barack Obama with Josh Shapiro on Saturday. And on the other side of the state, former President Donald Trump rallied with Doug Mastriano. Mastriano has frequently assailed pandemic era shutdowns ordered by the Wolf administration. He predicts the polls are wrong, and his campaign is galvanized by anger over those COVID protocols. Meanwhile, Shapiro points to the future of democracy, asking voters to steer clear of extremism. Both candidates expecting to continue reaching voters as the hours wind down. In Newtown, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.